Today we are talking about hen short phrases that are commonly used in a business setting. Whether you're engaging a client, negotiating with a business partner, chatting with colleagues or bringing your boss up to date on the project status, these are phrases that you would most likely come across. So learning them will help you understand your partner and using them will make you sound eloquent. So let's get started. The first expression is to drop the ball. When someone drops the ball, they make a mistake, they forget something or mishandle a situation. So this expression has its roots in baseball, football or even cricket wherein a fielder drops the ball. For example, he dropped the ball when he didn't submit all the documents for the proposal and we missed the deadline. The next expression is in a nutshell. Now in a nutshell is to summarize something or say something in a very concise, precise manner. To put something in a nutshell is to condense it to its basic facts into as small and concise form as possible without losing its meaning or importance. You might hear this phrase spoken when speakers need to explain something very quickly due to time constraints or to reduce the complexity of an issue or an idea. Example, in a nutshell, the project failed because we didn't prepare for contingencies. We're not giving you examples or instances. We're just telling you in one single sentence that it failed because we didn't prepare for contingencies and this is the essence of it. The next expression is to bite the bullet. If you bite the bullet, you're deciding to do something that is difficult or that is unpleasant to you. It is something that you don't want to do. It's not something you like doing, but it must be done. So you bite the bullet and you just do it. So when you bite the bullet, you decide to do something that you don't want to do, that you wouldn't otherwise do. I'm going to bite the bullet and see my colleague to explain how I misplaced his final draft of the report. The next expression is from rags to riches. If you describe someone as having gone from rags to riches, it is to say that they have risen in status and wealth from the lowest possible level to a very high one. This expression is used to describe a positive change in someone's fortune. For example, Tony Robbins' journey from being totally broke as a kid to being a millionaire by the time he was 26 was truly one of rags to riches. The next expression is in full swing. Now when something is in full swing, it is in progress, usually at the highest level of activity. It is in slow, it's not in the early stages, it's at its peak. So outside of the business environment, everything from parties to weather events can be described as being in full swing. Within the world of business, meetings, presentations, conferences and speeches can be in full swing. For example, by the time I reached the conference hall, the meeting was in full swing. The next expression is call the shots. To call the shots is to be in control of a situation or an operation. In other words, this phrase would apply to any manager, any person who serves as the overall decision maker regarding an operation's progress. The person who calls the shots is in a position to tell other people what to do. He is in control, he is in charge. Example, make sure you cross check with John before you set the price. He is the one calling the shots for this project. The next expression is hand in hand. When two people are described as being hand in hand, it generally means that they are holding each other's hands. But in business terms, however, people, companies, ideas and products can be described as going hand in hand. And in this sense, it means that these two people or things or products, they are together or they're closely associated or they're connected. They're usually related to one another. For example, in the retail industry, exemplary customer service and excellent presentation go hand in hand. The next expression is game plan. A game plan is a plan of action that you or someone else is supposed to follow. A game plan will usually have clearly defined goals and a series of stages to complete. 
It's a carefully thought out strategy or course of action as in politics, business or anyone's personal affairs. For example, being a father so early in his career wasn't exactly in his game plan. That's not what he thought of when he decided how his career needs to be. The next expression is cutthroat. When talking about a business or competitive situation, cutthroat is used to describe a fierce and ruthless competition or a competitor. Outside of business, it can also be used to describe a murderer or violent criminal. For example, I've heard that the work culture in Baidu's is cutthroat. There is a lot of competition and there's a lot of stress and people are being put under a lot of pressure in order to achieve their numbers or their targets. So when the atmosphere or the work culture somewhere is cutthroat, it is very fierce. The competition is very fierce. You have to struggle a lot. You have to perform a lot in order to survive in such an atmosphere. The next expression is the last straw. Now, uh, it actually is short for the last straw that broke the camel's back. So let me tell you a small story. There is a merchant who wants to transport some hay on his camel's back. So he loads a bale of hay onto the camel's back. And this merchant is a little greedy. So he thinks instead of uh, making multiple trips, let's see how much this camel can carry. So he starts putting more straw, more straw, more straw onto the camel's back. Now when you take a straw, a piece of straw, it's not gonna weigh much, it's very light. But when you compound it, put them one on top of the other, and on top of the other, and on top of the other, they're definitely gonna add up. And the camel is gonna feel the weight of the straw. So a single straw might seem very insignificant, it might seem very negligible, but when you compound the straws when you put them together it's going to weigh and finally if you keep putting straws one on top of the other then eventually the camel is going to feel the weight of the straw and it's at some point the last straw or one straw that you put on the camel's back is going to break its back meaning it's not going to be able to carry the weight of the straw anymore. So in the business sense or as an idiom, the last straw refers to something small or insignificant, but which has been the cause of total failure or a catastrophe on a much larger scale. So it refers to the buildup of small problems that can cause a larger result or a larger problem. For example, Jim had been patient but Sam breaking the coffee machine was the last straw and he fired him. So it was the last straw, meaning Sam had done a lot of other things before. Maybe he was late to work, maybe he did not submit his project. There were a bunch of things, many other small things that he did. But this one, it might seem very inconsequential, it might seem very negligible. But this is the last straw because that's the one that broke James' patience and made him think that's it no more. I can't handle him anymore. So that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions for me, any requests for me, also do let me know. I will try to make those videos for you. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.